I mean, one of, one of the things that comes through is his intelligence. I mean, he's just really a bright guy. And uh, go ahead. Yeah. I guess it's just, I'm actually a fan of his, but it's, um, it's hard for me to reconcile all the, the positive songs and commentary that he has with the more dramatically, like, I guess, antisocial parts of his life. Or sociopathic, or whatever you want, whatever you want to refer to it as, because he's very purposeful, it seems, in what he does. Like, like you said, he's a very intelligent person. So, like the impact of these other things, like they show the positive songs, for example. But then there are a lot of misogynistic lyrics in his other songs that weren't shown in the in the documentary. And it's like, how do you like? Does your good music compensate yeah, for that? How do you reconcile that with his his own self-professed? He understands women. Yeah. That's something that came out really strong in the interviews was um, how conscious he was of how confused and unable or not mature enough to handle a movement of that size. Um, he felt that it was getting bigger than him. And just, uh, like, I mean, I think that deals to um, you know, those two sides of him uh, and how he's portrayed and, and not knowing how he got himself stuck in a corner like that but then also not really knowing how to get out of it. Um, because he has this uh, this mission in his mind, what his music's supposed to do, and what he wants to say to the public, and yet the public image of him is, is certainly not the same. So it was really nice to see his, his consciousness of that. Yeah. Well, one of, the, one of the counter arguments, you know, when, when Langston Hughes argues for the social responsibility of the black artist in particular, one of the counter arguments and from people like Zora Neale Hurston uh, was that uh, we need to be accurate in terms of describing what is. Mm -hmm. That, you know, that's our responsibility to be honest. Now, maybe in a way you can have, you can say that, that um, some people in the public realm are not being responsible or honest. That is, they're they're putting forward a phony role, you know, and and to some degree you can see that with Tupac, uh, you know, to what degree <coughs> is he really <coughs> real in terms of being the thug? Mm -hmm. You know, here's here's a here's a guy who, yeah, he grew up poor, but he managed to go to a performing school to, for the arts. I mean, he you know he this you know he had a lot of advantages in his life. Um, and and abilities in his life, and he's, you know, he didn't have to, to, he didn't have to make the choices he made after he became successful that got him into all the trouble. So maybe maybe it's not just a choice of, um, you know, either honesty or responsibility.